Hey guys, I got a new video for you today, and this is going to be on a pair of glasses that I actually picked up a couple months ago. Uh, I had misplaced them, and while cleaning out a drawer today, I found them, so I figured I'd go ahead and put this video up since I've uh, shown some of the other models that I own in this particular line. And uh, as you guys can see by the title and by the tag right here, this is a pair of Oakley 3D gas cans. And this is the Hobbit edition for the Hobbit movie that came out. And this is with the HDO 3D. Now, obviously, as you guys can tell, this is just your standard black Oakley box. Now, besides the tag here on the side, the only way of knowing what these are is because of this tag right here. Again, the Hobbit and Unexpected Journey, which is the name of the movie itself. So let me go ahead and open this up so you guys can see what they look like. Now, I, I was pleasantly surprised by the fact that even though they didn't do anything with the box... As far as uh, graphics or whatnot, they did um, include a you know specific microfiber bag for this particular uh, style, which is really nice. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little bit simple of a bag, but definitely you know it it kind of carries with the uh, frames themselves. So let me go ahead and take that out. And here they are. Obviously, because these are 3D glasses, uh, the lenses are going to be clear. But they do have the word HDO 3D etched in the bottom right here. So you know they're 3D lenses. Now, I have gotten this question in the past before, so I'll hit on it again. You're not able to use these as sunglasses because the lenses do not have UV protection on them. Now, this is your standard gas can frame, which uh, it's a very popular frame. But obviously, as you guys can see, it's got the styling of the actual movie. So right here on the one side, you have this kind of transition from a gold color uh, you know, a little bit of brown in there and then into the black. And then you have the, uh, the sword or knife that Bilbo was given in the movie, um, kind of transitioning through the two colors and into the icon there. Then you have the gold icon. On the other side, you have, again, another gold icon and then some of the uh, writing from the movie. Um, you know, it's got some... Uh, I guess elvish writing, I don't know what it, what it would be, but uh, it's really cool on the side there. And then on the inside, you do have The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey, right there. And obviously on the other side, you have the word gas can etched into the lens, oh, I'm sorry, the frame. And there it is. Now, um, these are obviously, you know, if, if uh, you do watch a lot of uh, 3D movies, uh, using Oakley 3, 3D glasses does make a big difference from the standard ones that you get in the movie theater because the wrap on the lens, you get a lot better viewing experience from these than you would from those. Now, obviously, this is, uh, you know, in most instances, more of a collectability thing. You know, a lot of people like the way they look and whatnot. You know, the boxes generally came with a lot of artwork, which is one thing that I did want to point out, and I'll show you uh, the difference between this one and some of the other ones at the end. Now, one thing that this this model did bring, which was I was very surprised, is it included a pin um, for the movie. And I thought that was really, really cool. Obviously, you know, the Hobbit right there. And then, basically, this is the same uh, sword or dagger that Bilbo was given. And then it's got the Oakley icon there in the middle. And some scroll work on the sides. I think this is really, really cool. Almost, um, this right there is almost as cool as, you know, everything else combined. You know, you do have the two pins in the back. So, if you wanted to, you can go ahead and pin this on a shirt or a backpack or a hat or something like that. But, obviously, as a collector, I, you know, leave it in there, um, you know, and just kind of uh, keep it you know, nice and crisp and whatnot. So uh, let me go ahead and, and hit on what I was saying before. Obviously, as you guys can see, here is the box for them. You know, just your standard black box. Now, by way of comparison, I do have a couple of the other ones right here. Now, if you follow the channel, you've seen a review on these before. This is another um, 3D pair, which is the Adventures of Tintin. And obviously, as you guys can see, they went all out on the box, uh, kind of this iridescent look to it. You know, the little logo from the movie and whatnot. And then this is the Transformers one. Again, um, all out on the box, you know, um, graphics all throughout, iridescent, you know, the two emblems right there. And, um, you know, it looks really, really cool. Uh, there is a third, or I would say a fourth one, which is the original one that came out, which is the one for the Tron movie, uh, the new Tron movie. Unfortunately, I was never able to get my hands on one of those. But, again, you do get the scroll, the, the artwork through the, uh, through the box itself. So it kind of makes me wonder if maybe... The uh, Hobbit one is going to be the end to the, you know, to the 3D family, just because, as you guys can see, obviously they basically scaled back on the graphics and whatnot on the actual box. Uh, maybe that leads me to believe that they didn't do as well as they would hope they would have done. So, you know, at least, you know, these are, like I said, more of a collectability thing. A lot of collectors like these because of the box and just the, you know, the, uh, they're a little bit different. You know, it, it is a very popular gas can frame. And, you know, um, worst case scenario, you set them up and it's just something good to look at. 
And again, if you do watch a lot of 3D movies or you have a 3D TV at home, you can go ahead and use them for that. So I hope you enjoyed that and let me know if you guys have any questions. Thanks.